The staff of the Duquesne Club and wildlife experts are baffled this evening by how a fox ended up on the club's roof yesterday. And the fox is now resting comfortably in a more appropriate place. John Shumway reports. There was no way this little guy was getting inside. He was found on top of the roof of the Duquesne Club. Far short of the club's dress code, he scampered around on the roof while the club took pictures and awaited animal control. Several floors above 6th Avenue, he was corralled and taken to the Humane Animal Rescue's Wildlife Rehab Center in Verona. He's in seemingly health, healthy condition. Um, we gave him a full medical exam. Um, there, there isn't anything wrong with him. The Duquesne Club fox is not the first fox to spend time here. There's a pen of silver foxes, but this guy's a gray who would prefer to be anywhere else. I would say definitely uh, very nervous um, because he is a healthy gray fox. He doesn't need to be here other than the fact of where he was found. The staff here has the same question we all do. We can't figure out how he got on top of the roof. Even though they can climb trees, gray foxes specifically can climb. But where he was found presents a real problem for his release because we can't really put him back downtown. <laughs> so the game commission is looking for a new home. They do have a pretty good idea of of where other populations are, so we're just waiting to hear back from them. In the meantime, the staff is minimizing contact with the Duquesne Club Fox and keeping it in an outside pen. All precautionary methods to keep the stress levels down. While the folks who care for a variety of animals here wonder what's next. We did recently this past year receive the bobcat that was found on one of the Gateway Clipper fleets. Um, but besides that, we haven't had anything strange like this show up, but you never know. In Verona, John Shumway, KDKA TV News.